right. Privy at Cormorant. It's T of Corm here. I think I fixed the audio issue. Basically, I have um, two game capture softwares on my computer. One rarely opens. I actually searched for that one online. Uh, another one came with the computer, and it almost always works, and it's great for video capturing, but never seems to capture my voice very well at all. The one I'm using, Mayu, usually captures my voice well, if it works at all. And usually it'll like cut off in the middle of a video, or just simply not open to record said video. So, a lot of my things got cut off in my first video, but I did watch through it and there's some parts you can hear me. Uh, but I did mention how Final Fantasy was very, very important to me at the very intro there, which I think cut all of it off. But essentially, um, the things I see are similar to the characters. Like, I was talking about how Squall I've seen since I was 5 years old, but I didn't play Final Fantasy VIII until I was 10. So it's more of, um, I actually know these people, I know their story. I kind of got spoiler alerts before I actually even played the games. So in that way, it was like, um, more of a proof that they might be real, and that, um, creator of Final Fantasy perhaps knew these worlds too. It only does it for Final Fantasy and um, Kingdom Hearts. And of course I don't see Goofy, but like Sora and Roxas and stuff. And um, it doesn't do it for any other thing like Left 4 Dead or anything like that. Like I play those games, I don't, none of those characters I knew, but it's always been Final Fantasy. So I never let anyone play my games. Uh, yet the insanely important to even sit next to me while I'm playing a set of games. So it's a big deal that I'm sharing this game with you guys. Uh, you know, it's a pretty important game to me. And that's just how I've always been. I think it's more of um, because of the fact that you're not currently in the room with me that I'm able to share said game with you. So, that's a bonus there, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I've always seen them like, uh, we have sectors from what, you know, they've told me about the sectors. And, you know, Sector 1, Sector 2, whatever. And they're based like the games, you know, like Sector 8 is Final Fantasy 8, uh, Sector 10 is Final Fantasy 10. And that's why the games, you know, went from Final Fantasy 10 to Final Fantasy 10 Part 2 and things like that, because it's the same sector. Which, you know, fit with my uh, philosophy very, very well. So, you know, it just seemed more real that the things I'm seeing are real because, you know, they made whole games about it, so obviously they're real. And the stories would be the same as well. Like, you know, um, I knew all about Seed and the organizations in Final Fantasy VIII, because they told me about them before I even played the game. Um, now, I've heard a lot of people say that schizophrenics tend to think they've already known the facts long before they actually see it, so they're like, timing is a big issue for us. I'm not sure, but as far as I seem to be concerned, uh, I have known these people for way longer than I've played their games, so awesome there. But, uh, I mentioned I beta tested this game, and it was horrible in the beta test version, because, I mean, the, the graphics and everything were amazing, and everything, and the story is top-notch, as it always is, but, um, when I beta tested this, it literally took an hour to take one step, and I'm not exaggerating at all. As is how long it took. It was so insanely lagging. So, it was a week or two that we had a chance to beta test, and I got to level 3 in that week. And that was me playing 24-7. Like, I think the most sleep I got in the entire week was like 2 hours total. That so wanted to play this game. And I heard the PlayStation version wasn't as lagging, but I think it was just they had way too many people playing it. So when it eventually came out, you know, I submitted my issues with the lagging and everything else. When it eventually came out, lagging hadn't changed any. If anything, it was worse than it was before, which made me very upset, you know, because part of beta testing is to figure out the issues are, so then it can be fixed. But they didn't get fixed. So I was really upset with that and really hating on the game. So, you know, I did pay monthly for it in the real version. So it was kind of like, you know, I did all this. 
I still have my trial, my 30 day trial over, and I decided I wouldn't renew it because it was kind of crap. I still couldn't play. You know, I had to find the whole story on YouTube, the cutscenes and stuff, because I couldn't get the game to work. It took so long, so laggy and everything. And at the time, I had the top of the line gaming computer, like built together the pieces, and, you know, built together the best gaming computer. My brother does that for a living, he builds them and sells them. So I had the top of the line gaming computer. And it had so much lagging issues, so I can't imagine how anyone could play the game whatsoever. So it was really not a good idea at all. I mean, it was a great story from what I could see on YouTube, but I couldn't play the game. So I have the game sitting in my closet now, unable to play. Right now I'm on a free trial version where you can actually download it through the website. And apparently you can download the full game from that, and you just pay money if you decide to keep the game. Which makes the whole disc I bought completely useless, and I paid 30 something bucks for it. So it's like, if you could download it online anyway for free, and I mean, you'd have to pay more once you get past a certain level, of course, but if you could download the whole thing for free, why would you ever buy the CD, right? That made me really upset. But I guess it's the way they do it now. Um, it really wasn't that long ago that it came out. I mean, I was still living at I was still living at home, so I suppose it was four five years ago. That really doesn't feel like that long ago, but I guess that's just the way they do it now. It's an old game, I guess, compared to considering for them. But they're not that much farther than it. I mean, they just came out with Final Fantasy fifteen. This is fourteen, so it's really not that much farther. But I guess to them, it's very far. Um. But, uh, I'm finally able to play the game. I received a newsletter recently from Square Enix, which is the company that makes this, saying that they now have a free trial available. It's not, you know, originally free trial was when you bought the disc, you could play for 30 days, which was free. But the free trial is now up to level 35, which is amazing, because, again, I told you I've never got past level 3, so I'm sure I'd be able to play this for a long, 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 long time. And, um... It's a very, 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 very expensive game. Which may sound crazy to some people, but... It's $15 a character per month. So one character, you pay $15 a month. Two characters, you pay $30 a month. Three, you pay $45 a month. I mean, I... I like to make a lot of different characters. If I had just had ten characters... $150 a month, right? If I have my math correct. There's no way I would ever pay that much for a game a month. No, 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 no. I mean, 15 per month is topping it for me, because that's how much World of Warcraft is. But 30 would be absolutely no way, no way in hell I'd pay 30 bucks a month. But that'd be two characters, and there's no way I'd have less than one character in a game. No. I am usually make at least five characters. So there's no way I'm going to pay full money for this game. It's way too expensive. I mean, there, there's just no way I could ever afford that. As it is, I'm playing free trials on everything. Uh, you know, my World of Warcraft, I have that private realm. That lets me be free trial. That lets me play free. So, I'm only going to probably play this to level 35. That could take years. Knowing my skill level, it probably would take at least a year or two. So, it doesn't really seem to bug me. Once I get there, I can do a new character. By then, I'd probably be bored with the game. Or beating the game. A lot of these games, you can beat at like level 10. In Final Fantasy the first, but maybe it's different since it's an online game. I don't know. But it is 5 a.m. here now, and I'm going to be going in with Divek Munich. Uh, you last remembered I finished the opening cutscene and stuff, and I haven't done a single quest. So that's what we're getting to now. Let me make sure... Okay, yes, my recorder says it is still recording. Good. I'd be so worried if it wasn't. Mm, I'll put it in that top corner. I'm trying to think of where I can put it and not be in the way of my screen. Okay. Not that you guys can see it anyway, probably, but... Or maybe you can. Actually, I think you can, so I'm going to minus it. I don't want you guys to be like, Hmm, what software are you using? Now, if you guys really want to know, in case you want to download it yourself, I'm using, um... Well, 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 let me see now. Will it? Ignore this, since I'm sure you can see it. 
I'm using CyberLink Power Director. I googled for the best free software, and that's what came up. So, it works pretty good when it opens, as I told you. So, when it opens, it's pretty good. But your thing is, you have game software, or you have your voice. You cannot have both. I mean, audio. But, um... The other one I had from Xbox, which was my original, that came with the computer. It is more of a... You have both, no matter what you do. And game audio is going to be a thousand times louder than your voice, so it kind of works there as well. Ah, oh, experience earned while below level 60 is dramatically increased. I don't need your help. Whatever. Okay. Let's go talk to woman. I don't need your help bars. Yes, that's how you talk to people. Okay, cool. Hello, woman. You're British. I forgot. I have to try to get British. Just plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. If you, if I let you go wandering down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged, or worse, and I don't want that on my conscience. I can't do a male British voice. I always go straight to a female voice. Because for me, it's like British is like a weaker version of my accent almost. So to weaken it, I like naturally raise my voice a little higher to try to make it not as strong. Because my voice is a pretty deep voice naturally with the accent so it's a weird twist where i kind of make british accent really high and almost sounds female so so before you do anything else you want to head over to quick the quicksand and speak to mamadi she's the master of the venture skill and can set you on the right path i'm guessing is where you're looking because you're not looking at me when you're speaking to me just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors you'll find her inside and that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck in the venture adventurer. You can just shut your mouth, woman. I like your name, though. You're a woman. Here we go, a quest. Ta da Okay, cool. Yeah, I know how to do it. Thank you. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Oh, the lagging is so much better. It's still lagging slightly, but it's so much better than it was in the first day. I don't know if it's just because it's 5 a.m. and everyone's asleep. But so much better. This is like heaven compared to how it used to be. Okay, okay, the doors do open. I was just going weird. Hello, person. I don't know why I have a little leaf next to my name, but it's adorable. Yeah. <gasps> Sorry. I know how to do it. I like you because you, you're like me. Can I get on this chair? I, I'm sure I need to be on a stool. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello, lady. My lady. A lot of little cutscene things in this game. It's my time one. Won't tell me. Thirteen minutes. Okay, cool. Hello. Loading plays. Don't start the lag and try to plays. Okay, there you go. You're like me. You're tiny. I like you. I'm not on the bench. I want to get on the bench. I'm a short man. Well, hello there. Who might you be? I'm gonna give her my voice because, again, I said we're all like brotherhood. My head doesn't reach above the table. I'm sorry. I have to take a picture of that on my phone. That's just adorable. That's adorable. I love it. I'm gonna send it to my boyfriend and be like, "Look, he's like me." Okay. If you're looking for to join the adventure scale, you come to the right place. Name is Mamadi. And I own this fine establishment, if it please you. What if it doesn't please me? That's like the beer, Siamese, if you please. If it doesn't please me, you're still Siamese. I also manage the Venture Skill Guild here in Olda. So you might say that looking after green adventures like yourself is my vocation. I bet you're standing on a stool. And lucky for you, that it is. Without someone like me to steal your right, You'd soon find yourself in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. <laughs> you misunderestimate me, man. Even if you steer me right, I'm gonna end up that way. Like our conflict with the 
Al, how did I pronounce the last time? Almja, Almja. I don't know. For example, they've been plaguing the salad salad tight for nigh oh, oh forever now. Then there's the Garlean Empire. None of us can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. <laughs> we don't like you. We just know you're plotting something. It's kind of like North Korea and the US. They're constantly like at odds with each other. And I swear, there's nothing being plotted against us. Calm down, people. Ooh! We've got some belly dancers, only they don't have any bells, so maybe they're just strippers? Uh, I don't know. I, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all there's worry. Worry and a lingering feeling of loss. And little wonder, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, released an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. So much was lost in a blink of an eye. This was the like twist twas like the end of the world had come at last. But then things began to get foggy. Everyone got their own version of what happened next. Some of them, two or three. You'd think people would remember something like that, but the fact is they don't. Nobody does. There's one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the Calamity itself. Whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like us standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, we'll not let them be forgotten, so we call them Warriors of Light. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself into our fair city. So, I am know you guys are tired of hearing about my not real things or whatever. I don't want to call them hallucinations because I, I do believe they're real, but whatever. Um, but part of it is they've always kind of phrased, this is my game. Which is why it's a special place in my heart. Because I told the whole series is like very important to me. But, um, this game in particular is very important to me because, um, the Warriors of Light is a very big thing from where I'm from. Where, you know, no one really remembers who you are, but that you're very important. And that's why they say, you know, I'm not from their area, but, uh, I still played a big role in saving them. All. And it's hard to explain, um, but you know, I'm I'm praised as a hero to most of them, despite the fact that most of them don't know my face. So it's like, no, well, I'm actually called the pint. That's what they called me, which is a gender-neutral term for a ruler, a prince, or an emperor, empress, stuff like that. But it's a gender-neutral term, despite the fact that there's only ever been male pintses. But you know, uh, and it's like I'm their savior more or less. My special abilities that I can speak to them from all different worlds, and I immediately know all their languages and can respond back to them in turn. Which, so I'm like some sort of translator for all of them. And I heard that, you know, they changed the name a little bit to Warrior of Light, because that's more Final Fantasy type theme. But I heard other than that, this game is completely following my, my story. And from what I've seen in cutscenes, it seems like it, but again, I haven't watched the entire game in cutscenes, just most of it. So I'm gonna try to look more into that, and maybe it is my story. Um, that'd be kinda cool if it is. You know, they went missing suddenly. So, you know, I went all to help. I went missing, now I'm on Earth. Maybe that's what they're talking about. But it'd be kinda cool if it is actually my story, you know, because it'd be like, cool. Because, uh, where I'm from, you know, all the sectors and stuff, there is not a sector for it. There used to be a Sector 14, but it was destroyed long before I was born. Well, I was born during the time, but I was only about like 10 or so. And it was destroyed during that time. Um, so when they came out of Final Fantasy 14, I was kind of confused because I'm like, there's not even a Sector 14. So I suppose it'd be weird if they just skipped 14 and went to 15. 
But from what I remember of 14, again, I was really young, it matches pretty well on 14, like the tires and stuff like that. So it, it's pretty good uh, there. And I know for all you guys it sounds like I'm spreading nonsense, but this is legitimately what I believe what I grew up on, what I aged on. I don't know why I keep splashing black. But you know, I have memories of being there, I have people who told me I was there. And I'm going to believe it, so that's how I'm gonna do it. What uh, I, it's not harming anyone for me to believe it, so I'm gonna believe it. Uh, but I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to point out to you guys that apparently I'm in this game, which I thought was really cool. So uh, back onto that. All I ask is you lend a helping hand. Try to help Old Eye. Better state than you found it. Try to leave Old Eye a better state than you found it. You can promise that I'll be happy to let you join the guild. Do all the, all the, um. Lorafell. Do all the Lorafell have freckles? It seems like it. Alright then, a promise is a promise, nay. Count on you to help put the past behind us. We need people working and spinning and figuring like the old days. I'm so tiny! My accent keeps shifting because I'm hearing all these voices now. Um, And a happy and prosperous old that means more business for the quicksand too. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. Do you know who I am? I cannot write neat, what's wrong with you? Fine, I'll do it. In most games, this is when you would choose your name, but here you already chose it. Daibuk Minu. Daibuk Minu. Well, ain't that a charming name. Just rolls off the tongue, it does. I said as I messed up on it. All right, Mr. Manuk. On behalf of the Adventures Guild, I officially wait, 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 wait. Mr. Manuk. That's really cool. All the other ones just called you your first name. This one just calls you Mr. I like it. I love it. We have the Adventures Guild. I officially. Please, sir, be merciful. Twice as many witnesses, I swear to you. I'll bring you the money. You look fucking insane and evil and cruel and despite that. You're itty bitty. I can I know you're supposed to be a villain, but I cannot take you seriously. You look you look adorable. And the East has said that even a merciful god might be driven to vengeance thrice blasphemized. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You two tend to this stuff. To be fair, I'm kinda on his side. You know, there's a lot of people who don't even try to pay back money. They should call a bunch out and then Go up and like gamble it or something, or buy a bunch of drugs and stuff with it. Now there are some who legitimately had to take the money out to feed their family, and they're trying the best they can, but they can't pay it back. I I get that a little more because I'm in a similar situation, but um, you know, he's giving you four chances to repay this. No, please, mercy. Well, ain't that a sorry sight. Nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, give me a visit. Don't go bother me every time you study blood, blood and tail, alright? <laughs> She's saying, yeah, sucks to be him, it happens. Of course, I do enjoy hearing tell of Jinnaman's woes from the woman folk from time to time. Any road, welcome to old dad, Devak. Devak. I forgot how to pronounce my own name, Dybok. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little bit about our fair city. Alright, how much time are we on? 24 minutes already, guys. Woohoo! Thought we were gonna have to go help that guy, which a lot of games, that's your like starter thing, help some guy. And sometimes they're clearly in the wrong, but you still have to help them for like your first mission thing. It always makes you go like, really? Really? I declined to accept my reward. Oh no, I'm starting the quest, right. Quest complete. This concludes an introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first step as an adventure in the city of Olda. Listen well to the wisdom of Mamodi Modi. Then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. 
Why does my game keep flashing black? I have no fucking idea. Okay. Okay. Before you go charging off to find fortune, I've got a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform. So it's to help you get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the either right plaza. Skip there, head west from here until you reach Emerald Avenue. Then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called Etherite. Sounds simple enough. If it weren't for Etherites, traveling around any warriors would be a damn sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you still need to attune to them before you can use them. Be sure to do that to the one in the plaza. You ever attune to an Etherite before dive back? If not, just lay your hand on the thing. And you'll see what I mean. When you've done that, I want you to pay a visit. Pugless skills over at the Platinum Mirage. Assuming those weapons of yours ain't just for show, you might consider training there. Actually, I'm an archer. I just like these pretty things on my hands, anyway. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over by the Steps of Tal. Well, goods from all over Eorzea and beyond turn up there every day. You'll find new. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, and anything else of legend that makes your life yourself mine to give. You might say everything's for sale here in Old Eye as long as you got the deal. I feel like that was a hint on hookers, because you did just see a bunch of walking, dancing outside, so, hmm. Just so make sure you don't pay more than you ought, I bet. There's plenty as more than scramble to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself, especially when no one's looking out their best interest. Just say, make sure you actually look at which is the best price, because they're going to charge, try to charge you more because you're foreign. Which I've seen a lot of places do, when I travel different countries and stuff, they try to charge you more, be like, Oh, you know, they don't know about any better. Or they'll say, like, oh, an American money equivalent is only, like, 20 bucks. But really, the exchange is, like, 50 bucks or something in American. Be careful about that. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit exchange, find a gentleman named Sisorga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short, then, visit the Etherite Plaza, the Puglis Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. Oh, but before you go, word of advice. While there's more than a few unsavory characters out there who'll try to take advantage of you, there are also some honest goodness problems that we should consider offering help and hand to. A lot of folk are lured to the city by the promise of wealth and power. But many of them fail to realize that instead of chasing after heal the moment they got here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that if you're willing to give as much as you get, then opportunities will come your way. Speaking of which, you should talk with a smith over yonder. Those lads always have good advice for up-and-coming adventures. Otherwise, that's about it from me. Pass the time you get going. Oh, and let me know when you finish, will ya? That way I won't spend my days worrying that you've down to your small clothes about a guilty name. But, now I have to talk to you. She pointed you, she pointed you out. I don't like humans. Get them away. They're hers. Yeah, yeah, I did good. Actually, says my time in the top corner. I don't know if you guys can see it. 5.24 a.m. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> I wasn't tired like two minutes ago, but now I'm tired. So I'm gonna keep going now. Come on. Load. Okay, there we go. This won't go away until we click on it. That's the unfortunate part about this. Just, 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 cool. 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 All these are probably important, but I don't care. Thank you. He has a leaf on his head like me. If you have a leaf, I'll talk to you. I look so tiny! Okay. Greetings, I'm one of the Smiths, a stoker of fires and a preacher. Oh, like a blacksmith. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, as a dedicated member of the Ventures Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to the new Ventures. I see you have recently taken up the Ventures mantle. Possibilities stretching out before you are positively daunting. In the Ventures Guild, you have to see new adventures as fledgling heroes. You are the champions of tomorrow. Our nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow Smiths and I are to provide you with guidance. 
field also enlists a catter of veteran adventurers who'd be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women by the title of mentor. Mentors stand to advise you on any aspect of venturing. They have hundreds of questions in their belts and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma may, might be causing trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on your adventure. Stop flashing black screen. I highly recommend that you take advantage of a mentor's aid to enrich your experience in Eorzea. In Eorzea. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you'd like to know more. New adventure status applied to all players who have recently become mentors. Okay, so I guess that's what our little leaf means. We're new, like, fledgling adventurers. Okay. So these are actual, like, other players. I thought they'd be, like, you know, random people in the game. But they're actual other players. Interesting. Go this way. Let me out. Easter eggs. I'm gonna talk to the egg guy. I want more eggs. I know this is like not part of the main storyline, but I want eggs. Hello, egg. Egg. I can buy chocolate. I want to buy chocolate. I want to buy eggs. I want egg. Egg. Egg, please. Egg me. Egg me in the face. Jump. Hello, woman. You are a popper. I went the wrong way. But how are you taking to old, old uh, Divec? Make any new friends in high places yet? Ha! Well, then you'd have the Sultas here one day. I hope you haven't forgotten about old woman. As long as you're here, perhaps you can do me a favor and take this missive Jovis to the Platinum Mirage. It's just over yonder, and the man will give you some guilt for your trouble. If only all work in the city with his evil you eh? Okay. I'm gonna go this way still, though. I want some eggs. Egg, please. Shiny. Give me the shiny. 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 Do, 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 shiny. I'm gonna touch it. I'm too short to touch it. I can just touch the base of it. So in the game, that's how you do fast travel. You have to attune to each um, gym, basically, you find, and you travel the gym. Hello, Venture. Might you come to hiss the Miss Moody of the quicksand? So what if I have you, little bitch? Oh, you're tiny like me. Okay, I like you. Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of the attunement decree. The 100,000 guild completes the... Okay, I know that's a lie. <laughs> Apologies, but I do relish the opportunity to make that jest. The look on your face is absolutely priceless. However, uh, the fact that you were so easily to see is suggesting that you're unfamiliar with the use of either eyes, allowing me to explain. Crystalline augmentations tap into either etherestral energies and are primarily used as means to travel swiftly from one place to another. I guess I didn't need to explain it because they explain it for you. Perchance you have heard of return and teleport? Well, the transportation spells make direct use of the etherites and their connection to flow with ether. Even that there are no etherites, there is an etherite in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventure with a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and tune himself to each and every one. If you have no intention of wandering on the Sultanate's borders, it'd be prudent for you to attend yourself to either rights you encounter from now on. I pray you find that informative. Should you wish to learn more about either rights or transportation magic, I should be happy to answer your questions. Okay? It's shiny and I love it. I talk really fast when I'm trying to say things. Yes, I know. Go away, please. Thank you. Okay, did part one. Do, 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 shiny. Do, 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 shiny. If you know that's from, I'm gonna like high five. Okay. The voice. 
I'm guessing I'm too low level for that commission, it's saying. Fine by me. I want to check about. <gasps> Jachaka. Jachakuta. Hello, Jachakuta. I talk to tiny people only. Oh, it's a pugnant skill. Woo woo. Tell me what brings you here, friend. Look for a bit of work, perhaps? It's a small job to add a little weight to the coin purse of yours. Well, you're unlocked. The pugnus have just placed an order with me for several of the leather gloves and harnesses they use for sparring. But the trades are cruel, for I find myself lacking the hides required. Would that I had the pelts for a few snappy shrews. What say you, friend? Can I have a merchant down on his luck? Give me five snapping shrew pelts, and I promise to make it worth your while. You'll find the creatures roaming central. That's fine. My first killing quest. Woo. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go in here though. I'll help you later. Hello. Keep left clicking. Press right click. Greetings. Welcome to the Pugless Guild. I see you already walked the path of Pugless. Your journey has only just begun. My foot fell asleep and it's hurting like hell. Okay. I highly recommend you add your name to our role, for there is no better place in all the realms to train in our discipline than here. The origin of Puglism, as we know, can be traced back to the staging bare hands as at the Colosseum. These contests attracted fighters from far and wide, bringing the mandarin styles crashing together under blood sand. If I mispronounce any word, please be, please don't worry about putting, uh, blah, 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 blah. please feel free to correct me in the comments. I would love to know how I pronounce these things correctly. Kyaka Runa. Mint the chaotic intermingling of styles with the rose pugnus of singular strength and skill. This woman made it her life's mission to master every form she encountered, that she might refine her art. Among her many song-worthy exploits, few pugnus remember her participation in the gladiator, gladiator or tournament most fondly. Back when barehanded fighting was still seen as a pastime of peasants, she took on fully armed and armored gladiators, effortlessly bested the lot of them. Word of her feats spread across the realm like wildfire, of course, and all thus swiftly transformed into a seeker of pugnism, with people flocking from all over to train under this master among masters. The woman's name was Cornelia, and it is to her that Puglis Guild owes its existence. The art practice here is based on her all-encompassing style, and this training hall is modeled after upon the one which she once built. Speaking fast is making me mispronounce these words more than I normally would, but I naturally speak fast. And I don't like just spending my whole time, my whole recording reading. I'm sure you guys want to hear other things, so I'm going to actually be talking fast. And there it is, a brief history of our guild. I've told this tale a thousand times. The god never fail gods that never fails to find the flame of my fighting spirit. Now then, if you wish to proceed with enrollment, you must first obtain the field master's approval. Let me know if you would like to. Didn't they just say it was a girl? Whatever. You have business with Platinum Raj today. Oh and dragon. Draw. Okay. Message from woman. Alright then, let's take a look. Bird is barren, let the hounds feast. So it goes. Oh, this, well, you see, the guild is often contracted to provide protective services. Unfortunately for this particular petitioner, woman's investigation has revealed his finances to be wanted. Many of interest like you don't mind working for free, but we have a business to run. I myself have four mouths to feed. This bird will have to fend for himself, I'm afraid. Yet you still gave me money. Whatever. Yes, I figured out how to do this. Thank you. You represent yourself to the Guildmaster's inspection. Okay. Master Harmon is among the greatest pug lists of our time. For years, this man ruled the blood sands as the Holy Fist. So he has since retired in favor of training aspiring fighters. You will find him overseeing your charges, his charges yonder. Go now and show him the fighting spirit that burns within you. I don't know about you guys, but it seems that we have way more lower fell here than any other species. Doesn't seem that way. It seems like we're all 
the tiny people. I mean, there's some, there's some humans here. There's not really any elves or anything else, but... <laughs> Past time you got your arse back here. Well, whether the dancer had to say about my proposition. Oh, jeez. You're a dirty old man. Huh? You're not my errand boy. There's no dancer. There never was. I'm not doing anything indecent. I swear to the gods. Yeah, you are, you little biatch. I caught you. I don't know if I want to join this guild. You're all evil. You're all disgusting. What? You're to roll? Ho ho. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? In my capacity as guild master, they'd be glad to give you the primary of art in hand to hand combat. I don't know. You're kind of a dick. I don't want to work under you. Can I go to someone else? If I didn't already choose my class? Doubtless you already know this. We puglists fight with our fist and. I doubt you already. No doubt you do not. I don't know. While these don't deal as much damage as a blade, it hardly matters when you can land several blows with each swing of the sword. We lack in destructive force. Okay. We more than make up for our speed and cunning. To my guidance, not only will you master striking techniques, you'll also learn to string them together to deliver an endless flurry of blows. Only through such fierce combinations can Puglis realize its potential. Yeah. If I didn't just jump back, you would have fucking punched me. I would have told everyone about your horrors. I love how I don't even flinch. I'm like, bitch, no. <laughs> you don't scare me. I know your secret. And now you hurt yourself. <laughs> Crikey. I I'm spent from all this talking. You ought to speak more, son. Give me a chance to catch my breath. Where, where was I? You said like two lines. Alright, joining the guild. Before you do so, I must warn you the path of the Puglis is long and a drip. Audacious. Do you believe you got what it takes to go the distance? Be honest with yourself, now. Well, I don't got much of a choice, so yeah. I have face tattoos. I, I think I'm pretty strong. Yeah, she has a fighting spirit. I can see in your eyes. I see no reason to deny your place in these halls. Welcome to the guild, son. For your first lesson, I want to test your fledgling skills as the vermin of Dynalan. Get out there and put down three marmots, three hornets, and three shrews. Return here once the feed is done. I mean, I'm already gonna go get some fruit, so fine, this works. I'll talk to Galpita. Yo, Galpita! <laughs> he does not like the way you're looking at him. I love that whole description. Hey, you, I saw you looking at me. You got something to say, huh? I say sup. No? Well, I do. You know what Diddleita? Short, broke, never pays what he owes? Yeah. That bleeding horse, uh. Jeez. Tell him to pay up, or I swear to the 12, I'll beat him so hard he'll feel like the second coming of Dolomite. I feel like I should put like an age restriction on this. It's getting a lot of cussing and violence in this game. And a lot of sexual content. If I see that little shite space, I'll end up pounding him to a bloody pulp. Like it's not. So you go and tell him. Should I start like censoring some words, like this little beep? I don't know, it's pretty... Hmm. Still trying to finish my very first quest here. So they don't do other stuff. This is a marketplace fest. So I don't have any weapons. So it's eggs. It's a bit decorative because I can't do anything with them. Won't let me. Turn my camera a little bit. That's what I was trying to do. You're not the one I'm talking to right now, but I'll talk to you anyway. Oh my g g gods be good. Galther's goon. Uh, oh, all right, all right. I'll give you back every gill I owe. I swear it. But but no more beings. I but beg you. You didn't give me any gill, though. Whatever, I'm level two from threatening some kid. Thanks. And I'm just trying to find something else. Look, I haven't got the gill on hand, but I do have this ring. You won't know much to look at, but it will surely fetch a high price. It was me dear departed mom's wedding. God's bless your soul, but she'll understand. Oh, don't do this. Don't make me do this. The guy was already a dick. Don't make me return. Don't make me sell your mom's wedding ring. Come on. 
I hate when games are like this because you can't like not accept the quest. I mean, you can't not accept the quest if you don't want to, but you need to accept it to continue on with the game. Show it to mommy over at the ossery, and show and you'll be, get your coin. I'm sorry, Dildilata. Dildilata, I'm sorry. Oh, I was like this. I always don't want to read the quests, just accept them. But you assume World of Warcraft, but. Can I attune to this? I think I can. Yeah, I can. They're just smaller ones. They're a mage, so it's not running there, but okay. I already know how to do this. Thank you. You explained it earlier. I am Austin Rest, the Order of Naldathal, and I am charged with studying the autonomy of the region's fauna and environment in which they dwell. For the dark part of our order is death itself, and the power over death can only come through knowledge of life. Good. One day I shall publish my findings in a single comprehensive volume, The Many Breasts of Thalalan, but there is much work to be done before that day. Aid me, brother. Bring me four bo four bo five bottles of Maramut blood, and perhaps I shall name you in a footnote. Marmots are hard, hardy creatures that thrive nigh everywhere. You'll find most certainly find them out just wriggling outside the city in western Dalaran, by the way, a gate of Saltava. Do take care. They're feisty little critters when threatened. Well, no, duh, you're picking them up for their blood. Of course, they're gonna be. Whatever. Greetings, adventure. What brings you to the Osmoth Off? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you wish to sell this heirloom on behalf of Dilda? Huh? Very well. It's most unfortunate that such drastic measures must be taken. Undoubtedly so, when the item in question is a fake. Such a gaudy, poorly wrought one. Also, do you know that our appraisals are not free? Normally that free is subtracted from free value. Alas, considering the negatable value of the ring, I'm afraid you would still owe us. However, since it's a rather unusual circumstance, we shall waive the fee this once. No need to concern yourself with the battle. I will properly see this disposal. Dang. Oh, I get to choose. Potion or either. Potion. Jerk, she either lied to me or she didn't know, which is both possible. Okay. I'm trying to do this one still. Just down there. She couldn't walk it herself. Oh, no, someone else. Hi, hi, Tay. Hello, hi, hi, Tay. There's a lot of lore fell here. How can the Osirage man says exploring contributions every single move? It's outrageous, I tell you. Don't they understand a woman has means? How can they expect me to pay for rouge and send silk dresses and feed my marma? Oh, if only I have the foresight to marry a more ambitious man. This is all his fault. If you just worked harder and showed some initiative, surely he'd be rewarded. Maybe even promoted. If things don't improve, it won't be long before I join the beggars in Pearl Lane. Save me of this cruel fate, I, bear it. I beg of you. Speak to my husband, Babuna. Find some way to motivate him. You should find him at the Coliseum Inn. Wearing one of those ridiculous outfits. I have a feeling you you don't like your husband's job. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how I guess that. There he is. He's, I mean, he's not just. Well, I guess uh, kind of ridiculous. Hi, I'm Bomina. Congratulations, you found the world's worst husband. That is, if you believe the harpy I have for a wife. She never cooks, she never cleans, she just gallions around spending my hard-earned money. 
And now I see she's speaking ill of me to bloody strangers. Well, if her hell's bent on hell's bent on meddling in my affairs, she's insisting by taking some of these friends of the fair flyers, placing the walls outside the Coliseum. Quite a long night ahead of me standing out here, so I won't be getting into it anytime soon. When you finish, go and tell the Wolkland and the Gad Gladiators Guild. He should give you some for your trouble. He's really trying his best. Feel bad for him. How do I post him? I'll probably put that said right there. I just want to find my areas. How do I go to map? Okay, that's how I do it. Want to find uh, where to? Where's the marketplace? Where's the marketplace? Way up here. So that's where I need to go. Okay. I like a little marker on my map. No. Whatever. I need to go all the way to the top. Thought I was going the right way, but I guess not. We. Do I have anything in my bag? I guess it's not how you open a bag in this game. Do we have the character? Okay, it's I for inventory. Hmm. Okay, I for inventory, not B for, B for bag. Okay, cool. Nice to know. Uh, <laughs> I like the music though, it's very calm. You wouldn't be able to hear it. The, the sound actually is off like it's supposed to be. It's very calming. See, this is where I'm just going. But then I still have loads left. They named you Silver Nettle? That sounds really rude. That's it up here, right? Yeah. Well, no, 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 that's not the right one. I need to keep going. I'm trying to do main storyline all these little side ones. Which I guess you should do the side ones before the main storyline, so that like you actually... You know, keep the main storyline to help you keep going, whereas the side ones can be kind of mean. I don't know. I'm trying to main storyline though first. They did accept it first, so I'm gonna try to do it first. Oof. In fifty three minutes it has. Ah I don't know what that did in my recording. Please tell me it kept going. To keep going. Yeah, okay. Oof. Worried me a bit there. I'm just trying to at least turn in my first main mission quest before I end it for this video. Oh, great. This is usually where lagging is horrible, but I think there's not enough players playing, so it's still okay. Now you're who you're supposed to talk to. And you are? Oh, a newly come adventurer, but of course, yes, I am so seeker. What am I to what can I do for you? Oh. You would have me teach you the ways of the marketplace. Very wise. As for the fee. What? You expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask an old Darian for a favor, you should at least try to make it worthwhile. Judging by your garb, I rather doubt you perform my services. The fact that you offer nothing is laughable. I got a letter. I 
don't know what it says, but I got it. Yeah, you have your bead on your head, too. Cool. Oh, Mr. Mendoni instructed you to seek me out, did she? Hmm. See yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief. You shall be attentive. You have the same hair as me. I love how they're like, you should be attentive, and I'm like, I like your hair. <laughs> you stand on the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the solid. Being adventurously situated in relation to other city-states, all those markets have ever served as both the literal and figurative centers of a words in commerce. All the great overlord trade routes lead to our city, and the majority of maritime trade between Balabran and Alderaan passes through our ports. Because of this, countless companies in Corsoria have chosen Alda as their base of operations. They see it to it that this marketplace is awash with the merchants and money lenders day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can purchase here. Provided he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something to seek a venture. A deadly sword, perhaps. A silver trinket. A shinier trinket. Whatever it is you want, ex the exchange will have it. To the north, you'll find merchants peddling armor and accessories, curatives, and crafting materials. And to the south, you'll find weapons, tools, and assortment of other useful items for sale. Seek out a particular merchant, or browse your heart's content, but do try to remain aloof, should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially where corn is concerned. <laughs> that is complimentary aid you shall have from me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Mamodi. Now off with you. You bored me. Get off here. I love you too, mate. I'm going to actually be good. But oh, there's a shark. Keep forgetting to click on these from this distance. I'm surely touching it. Yes, yes. I'm gonna actually look at um, some items for sale. Armor, so I need to go this way. I'm gonna try to buy some weapons. I don't think I have any. Hello, ugly duckling, you're very cute. Arms merchant. What you got? What you got, mate? I am at four. One to nine. Okay. Because I have one in my bag. Where? Well, I said I had one in my bag. I'll fire for that one. So how do I equip my stuff? Or is it already equipped somehow? Okay, it says I do have it, I guess. Weird. Okay. Guess I'm good. I should get some armor. Hopefully, I said I was an Andy Tan. Battlecraft armor. Do you do leather armor? Staple of War. Level 1 through 9. Get an eye patch. A 5. 8. 8. 1. Minus one magic by a lot. Five. Five. Eight. Eight. Five. Eight. Five. Eight. 
I don't think there's anything I can have yet. So I'm only level something. I don't know what level I am. I'm level two. I guess I'm close enough. But I'm not gonna risk it. No, I'm gonna go. This way. And this way. much eggs. Right click. Keep forgetting to right click. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. I don't know how to post these pictures. Post picture up. That's what you okay. Wait, there's only three, you couldn't get around to post a three? I mean, jeez. There was like 20 something of them, I don't understand. Like, there's three. I'm down. Maybe you are a little lazy. I accept every quest when I can. Before there was someone who would tell me what was. Wasn't there? There you go. Or she. I don't know. There's whoever it is. Ah! What have you done? Your kind has no business to even look at a lady since she's alright. Well, you bitch, I'll kick you in your shins. It's shocking, unbelievable insolence. And now, look. Look how my gills scatter across the ground. Pick it up right this instant. I'll fucking kick you in the shines, mate. I'm gonna keep your gill on the ground. Little fucker. How'd you throw it that far anyway? You're insane. Bloody insane. If I pick up anything, I'm just keeping it. Bitch. You have a right to even take a lady to the day. Yo, fucker. I'm fucking more important than you, mate. No, I absolutely hate you, Agle. Like, it's so important. It's like, you yeah, fucker. You're, no one's more important. My gill, now. It better be not missing. I shouldn't even given you anything. Use it. Hmm. He appears to be everything. What are you still staring? Expecting some kind of reward? The insolence. Hmm. He gave me a reward, so. Thanks? Bitch? Whatever. That's a Riku. How are you, that's a Riku? Have you come to wish me luck? I appreciate your problem. There's no need to worry. What? You don't know who I am? The next biggest thing coming to Coliseum? Well, if it's the next biggest, then you haven't come yet, so you're not as popular yet as you might find. Zazariku is my name, and you'll be hearing about my exploits in the coming days. I even thought of a title for myself, a Galleon Gladiator. 
Don't come stealing titles, dude. And what? Ah, oh, which reminds me. I have yet to collect the circulate. I commissioned from the Goldsmith Guild. You wouldn't mind picking up for me, would you? Sure, why not? The album Bombamina? Well, ain't that charitable be. Charitable be. Brand's got pretty popular of late, and his fans keep stealing the flowers to take him home as souvenirs. Ow. And there's only three. Ah, I see you bet Mabamisa's wife. Now I understand. Sorry to hear you got caught up in all that. If you ask me, they may, they're made for one another. Yeah, it's not my place to judge, mind. Any road, we appreciate your help. Here's your ass here and here looking for work, eh? Well, you're in luck. Just happens I have a deed that gets to you then. Wild lady that just wrecked a bloody havoc and now through the town. <laughs> some of the air of late made some ornery and a rock some of that rut. Ain't much for fighting on their own, but numbers are they're more than a match for any merchant you can see in a couple days in the teeth. And he has, you see more days at the teeth than he has at his battlefield. Oh, Jesus. There's so much fucking sexual innuendo in this guy. Not even innuendo, it's like straight out there. It's obvious. Well, what'll be? Fancy putting down four or so of the bloody buggers to party? Something, they, whatever. Jesus Christ. This game is so sexual. Well, I mean, I guess it's made for adults. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. See where I'm at for time. Okay, we're past the hour mark, so I probably should end it here. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm probably gonna need to put an age restriction on this video. Yeah, I didn't want to do that, but whatever. So, I haven't got to a single fighting yet, but that's how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out for my character. Jesus. Okay, so. TFCOM signing off. Bye bye.